What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to pass things from one window to the other with PyQt5 and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at passing things between windows. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at passing things between windows. So, yo, submit, boom, it pops up on this window. How do we do that? So, that's what we're going to be looking at in this video. So, I'll be using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pin comment comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other PyQt5 videos in the series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So let's head over to our terminal. I'm in my C PyQt5 directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on and let's open up the designer and we want a main window. So let's go ahead and create that and let's play around with this a little bit. So I'm just going to create two windows here in the designer. In the last video, I showed you how to use two windows in your program, how to switch between them. So if you didn't see that video, check that out. It's, I think the last video we did. So if you need to brush up on that, go ahead and do that. But for now, I'm just going to grab a button. Let's make it kind of big. And let's just say, I don't know, submit. And let's grab another one, put that in there. And let's say open window. Okay. And let's make this text a little bigger just for fun. So we can click right here and make this 16. Same thing here, 16 or whatever. Okay, that looks good. So let's come down here and grab a line edit or a text edit or whatever you want, some sort of box that we can type stuff in. And I'm just going to do it like that. And again, here, I'm going to also change the text of this to 16. Okay, so that looks good. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's go file save as and we want to navigate into our PyQt5 directory. I'm going to save this as connect one because we're going to connect these two windows, I guess, <laughs> whatever. Okay, so there's our first window. So now let's come up here, file new, and let's create a second window. And here we go. Let's resize that quite a bit. And uh, whatever. So now click on this. We need to rename this. As I said in the last video, these can't have the same name. So let's call this one second window. Okay, and then let's just grab a label down here and slap that in right about there. And also let's come down here and change the text size of that to 16 or whatever. And let's say um, type something in the other window. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, so let's come up here and file save as and let's save this as connect ui Okay, so we've got our two files connect one and connect two. So now let's head back over to our terminal. Okay, so now we need to convert those two files to Python files. So let's go PYUIC5. We've done this lots of times in the past. So dash X, we want to convert connect one dot UI to dash O, we want to output it to connect one dot pi. And let's do the same thing for connect two. There we go. Okay, so now let's head over to our sublime text editor. Now let's open those files. So let's go file open and navigate to our PyQt5 directory. There it is. And now we want connect one and connect two. So let's open those. Oh, let's do that. Let's get rid of these. Okay, so remember in the last video, in order to use this other file, we need to import it into this one. So let's go from connect two. We want to import. Now, what do we want to import? We want to import this main class. So we just copy this and boom, there we go. So let's define a function to open that second window. And we did this in the last video, so I'm not going to talk about this. I'm just going to run through it real quick and uh, knock it out. We want to go self dot window equals QT widgets dot Q main window. We want to go self dot UI equals this guy over here here, this guy right here. And that's a class. And we want to go self dot UI dot. And then we want to grab this thing. So set up UI, and we want to pass in self dot window into that. And then finally, we want to go self dot window dot show to show this guy. Okay, 
So let's go open second window. So now we want to call this from the button down here. So let's look through here. Here's our first first push button. Let's see, here is our second push button. So let's go clicked equals lambda. And as a lowercase l, not a capital L, we want to go self dot open underscore window. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and run it real quick just to make sure that worked. We kind of flew through that kind of quick. Let's go Python connect one dot pi. And when we do, we get this open window button, boom, the window pops up, type something in the other window. Okay, so, so far so good. Now we need this button to work so that when we type something here, whatever we type appears in this label here. The whole point of the video, right? So let's head back over here and let's come up to the first button here. And actually I'm gonna come down here and just copy this whole thing. And then come up to the first push button right there and just paste it in. But instead of running open window, let's open clicker or something. Name it anything you want. I'm bad at naming things. But we can come down here and define that guy. So let's go define clicker. We want to pass in self. So now let's create a variable. I'm just going to call it thing, right? And let's set that equal to whatever we typed into the box. Well, what is the box name? If we look through here, the box is just named line edit because we didn't change the name. So let's go self dot line edit dot text and that will assign whatever we've typed into the box into this variable. Now we just need to send this variable over to the other window. How do we do that? Well, this is a pretty large buildup. We've done a lot of stuff up until now and to actually take the information from one window and stick it to another window is ridiculously easy. We've already got it all set up to do. All we need to do is sort of I'd say, I don't know if you would say instantiate a class from the other window, this guy right here, into your main window. Well, we've already done that right up here, right? So we've got this self.ui that's already running a, a version, so to speak, of UI second window, which is this entire thing, right? So for all intents and purposes, that other file is in our class right now. We can access everything in it by calling self.ui dot whatever. So we could just go, uh, let's say assign thing to second window label, All right? So we've got self.ui dot what? Well, let's come over here and look and we just name this thing label. So we could just call it label, self.ui dot label. And we wanna set the text. You set it just like you would set any text label anytime just by calling set text. And we've done that lots of times. Now, what do we want the text to be? Well, we want it to be whatever we typed into that box, which is thing, right? Because I'm really good at naming things. <laughs> so that's it. That is all there is to it. Very, very easy to pass things around Windows. That's all there is. So let's go ahead and save this, head back over here, give this guy a run just to make sure that worked, but I suspect it will. So let's open a window, boom. Now, uh, hello there. Submit, boom. Hello there, just that easy. Now check it out. One thing, if we click this again, it will open it again. So, you know, yo, that works. But if we close this, now let's say my name is John Elder. Woohoo! And we submit, nothing happens because we haven't opened the window yet. If we open it, it doesn't say my name is John Elder. We have to click the submit button again. Why is that? Well, look at our program flow, right? In order to pass something into the other window, we have to, I'm going to say instantiate. I don't know if that's the right word, but in my mind, it's instantiate the other window into this, this program right here, right? Well, we haven't done that yet if we just click this button because we're only doing that right here, right? And this function hasn't been called until we click this other button down here. Uh, let's see, this one, right? And then this function gets called. So just sort of keep that in mind. You definitely have to instantiate this thing, set it up before you can use it elsewhere in your program, right? We haven't done that yet. We can't pass anything to it. That just sort of makes logical sense. So you probably don't need an explanation for that. Obviously, we can't change the window if we haven't shown the window yet, right? So just keep that in mind. You have to show it. So that's how you pass things around Windows. And it doesn't matter if you're using other things in the Windows. We used a label. You could have anything at all in there you would still access it the same way by calling self.ui.whatever the thing is you want to do. And then you could just 
you know, do anything you want like you normally would. And it's just that easy. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students to learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.